stars are constantly changing their looks. Taylor Swift went from girl next door with the natural curls to the chic and sleek red carpet look. Renee Zellweger got major plastic surgery that the majority of the population totally disagrees with. Then we have those who went through the ringer like Amanda Bynes, or those who really grew up like Zac Efron. There are hundreds of reasons to change a look, but what we generally look at is, well, just them. Do we like their new look? Is it attractive? Natural? Crazy? Or what? That's what we're going to look at today. To be fair, sometimes, substance abuse or mental health issues can cause someone to look, well, less than perfect. On the other hand, plastic surgery can do wonders for someone or make them look faker than a Twinkie. Many times, it's all relative and beauty really is in the eye of the beholder. But other times, most of us can agree on who has done the right things and who needs to abort the transformation mission ASAP. Abort. Abort. We're not talking about movie role choices, or Matthew McConaughey and Naomi Watts would be on the list. No, these are personal choices where people actually chose to look this way. Which is like 95% worse and often inexcusable. Unless they have cash a history that really messes with their minds, of course. But none of these have that story. So let's take a look at a few stars who look way better and more attractive after their style choices and those who look quite a bit worse. Miley Cyrus has undergone one of the most famous transformation in history. Miley went from adorable, natural girl next door to crazy, often repulsive, to beautifully Miley again. Only this time, she's not just adorable, she's hot too. She outgrew both her Hannah Montana stage as well as her immature crazy stage. Her and her sister Noah both agree that she is saner and more in her right mind than ever. A couple years ago, she'd be on the not side of this list, but due to her recent change, she's on the hot list for the first time in her life. She's been called overrated for years, so I think it's finally time she gets to be underrated. Let's give her a hand, as well as Liam Hemsworth who helped her through all of her stages. Lindsay Lohan. What happened to you? The smoke and fiery redhead that we all were in love with went downhill quick. She used to be one of the hottest women in Hollywood. But it didn't take many years in the spotlight for it to ruin her. She was doing great, but the pressure got to her. She used alcohol, drugs, and other illegal activities to cope. This is a great excuse for the tired, worn expression pasted on her face and the haziness in her eyes. But the plastic surgery and the unappealing blonde hair really don't work for her. How amazing would it be to see this one flipped? She's old enough now to really cross the line and to the more mature look that other Disney Channel stars have tactfully adopted. Sorry Katy Perry, but you landed on the wrong side of the list this time. Don't get me wrong, she's still just as beautiful as ever, but let's really take a look at what she's coming from. Before she made it big, she was a pretty, yet average down-to-earth Christian artist. She wasn't drop-dead gorgeous without her professional makeup team. But after she did get them, she became one of the hottest stars in the industry. However, while Miley did a flip, Katie went the other way. Some say she's experiencing a Britney Spears breakdown. Maybe she can pull a Miley Cyrus and enter stage 3 of her transformation soon, coming out the other end looking better than ever? Let's hope so. As far as I can tell, Halle Berry has never looked less than perfect. Maybe she has professional makeup artists and the likes, but somehow she pulls off a natural beauty so rare in this world. But I think her most recent addition to her look, yes, it was definitely an addition, sent her over the edge in the best way possible. She brought back the early 2000s trend of adding colored highlights to her hair. In her case, they are purple and look absolutely fabulous with her hair color and skin tone. She couldn't have picked a more perfect color. She makes see these purple highlights in a new light, but something tells us they wouldn't translate as well into just anyone. Sadly, purple highlights will not magically make anyone look like Halle Berry. There's more than a handful of people who are in love with the emo look, especially those who grew up in the late 90s to early 2000s. It was one of the hot looks that made people think of the edgy, emotional guy who was secretly super smart and sweet. Yeah. Pete Wentz had that intense look. But these days, although he still looks good, he just isn't himself. He doesn't catch your eye like before. 
he lost the guy liner and traded his red hair for blonde highlights. Although Fall Out Boy is topping the charts more often than ever, I assure you, if Pete Wentz treated us to his former emo look every once in a while, they'd have more than a handful of new fans and old fans coming back for seconds. This sounds really weird, but somehow, Sia found out her best points and covered up the distractions. I mean this in the least offensive way as I can. She looked normal before, yeah, just another girl. But the last few years, she's transformed into a beauty so mysterious, you are dying to see more. Which is so odd, considering all she did was cover up her face and sleek it up. Something about her mysterious persona is so alluring that we can't get enough. Get this, she's a bit older than you think. These days, she looks no older than 25, but in reality, she's over 40. Is that not the craziest thing you've ever heard? Just look at that chin, that hair, that body. She's got it going on. This can't be Ozzy Osbourne's daughter. She's freaking gorgeous. Like many teens, Kelly Osbourne went through a rather awkward stage. But now, at 32, she's rocking either lavender or flaming orange hair, has a toned body, and an attitude to boot. She isn't the same girl she was when she played herself on the Howard Stern show and the Osbournes. That girl was cute, but a bit backwards and, needless to say, awkward. She had more than her fair share of fans, but nothing like she does today. She's blossomed into a well rounded, intelligent, beautiful young woman. She proves that you can take the teen rebel look and transform it into something sophisticated that still holds a bit of an edge. She grew up and she grew up good. Most people really don't care if you change your gender these days. That's really not the reason that Bruce Jenner got the short end of the stick. The reason is that she made a much better looking guy. Who knew that a decent looking guy could end up looking like that? That's the thing, Caitlyn still looks like Bruce. So no wonder the majority of the population agrees that she made the wrong choice. Let Bruce be Caitlyn sure, but facts are facts. She looked better as Bruce. This isn't exactly an opinion, is it? There are plenty of people out there you can afford to help you Caitlyn it up, so show us the real Caitlyn. To each their own, though. Emma what, son? No doubt one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful woman in the spotlight these days. Why? Aside from her obvious natural beauty, she has quite a few things going for her. 1. She's more intelligent than you could ever imagine. 2. She has so much class that she could be school. 3. She knows how to dress for her personality and body type. And on top of all that, she has so much charm that it's bursting from the seams. If that isn't enough, where does she has quite a bit of that subconsciously attractive inner beauty you only hear about in storybooks? Beauty? Check. Brains? Check. Heart? Check. Is this girl perfect? Question mark The internet seems to think so. And look how far she's come. Sometimes you just lay awake at night and think about celebrity plastic surgery. It can do some pretty good things, but mostly, it pretty much just ruins all of the natural beauty these celebrities possess. Take Lil Kim for instance. She was looking so fine before, but then she went and plasticized it all to pieces. It seems in her lifetime, she's gotten nose jobs, Botox, and a skin lightening treatment. She looks nothing like her natural self and fans are furious. It's true that she has been through a few fights with other celebs, bad breakups, and her fair share of controversy. But this look just isn't working for her. She looked so good before, so why go and mess with what you were born with? We can't believe this guy is never long bottom. The boy who was supposed to be the nerdiest, below average student at Hogwarts has surpassed everyone except Hermione. No one knows when or how this happened, but somehow, Matthew Lewis went from less than mediocre to being an underwear model. All he did was work out a little and grow up. So maybe this wasn't a choice transformation, but it also kind of was. He started wearing more fitting clothes, working out, and learning how the camera works. Now we get to see all the best sides of him. He really has blossomed into quite the handsome man. No one knew what to think when he debuted after the Harry Potter movies did, and we are still speechless. Lady Gaga has this innate ability to look any way she wants and still get by with it. She can wear a mead dress or a furry mask. 
But what most people don't know is that much like times when she sang with Tony Bennett or visited the Queen, she can look totally normal, in the most beautiful way possible. The thing is, she doesn't show this side very often. Though the last couple of years she's let it show more often, back when she got started, she really did dress like your average pop star and she let her inner and outer beauty show. To be fair, I totally understand her reasoning. Her updated look gets attention makes her stand out. This is all good and fine, but let's admire her natural look as well. Is it just me or does she look like Farrah from Teen Mom? There are no lips more famous in the industry than Kylie Jenner's. But how did she get them? No one knows. It could be plastic surgery, it could be some boss makeup skills. Who even cares at this point? All we know is we want them and she looks amazing. In fact, in general, Whatever she did to change her look worked. A few years ago, she was your average teen. Now, she's gorgeous with almost 100 million Instagram followers. We are like 87% sure that most of those followers are simply there because she's so beautiful. And she posts a lot of photos to prove that. Like a lot a lot. But of all of the Kardashian Jenners, she has probably shown us the most dramatic transformation. Well, aside from Caitlyn. To be fair, this look has changed in 2017, but since it just did, we still have to address how he looked for so long. Macaulay Culkin went from the adorable Kevin on Home Alone to the awkward but not so bad teen who disappeared from the spotlight. Then, he shocked us all by returning to the public looking like a drug addict in need of another hit. It was so bad that it is hardly redeemable. Sure, in 2017, he made another transformation that wowed us all. He came back looking better than we could ever imagine Macaulay Culkin looking. He probably shocked himself. See, Kevin? All you have to do is try and you really can compete with everyone else in Hollywood. Good job, but we're still angry about those years you made us suffer looking at you. Ariana Grande has always been adorable. But there's a big difference between a Nickelodeon star and a gorgeous pop star. She grew up and the girl who was once in the background in Nickelodeon has become more popular than any other Nickelodeon star in history. It truly is amazing. She had bright red hair and a cute, clueless face as a teen. But now, she has grown to be a beautiful woman. She has got it going on and there's not one human being that could possibly say anything different. On top of that, she stands for what she believes in and fights for those who are unable. Her tribute to Manchester spoke volumes. You gotta love a lady who holds concerts like that. Who has the ability to truly feel for those who are hurting. This one is truly a toss up. You either hate Jared Leto's look or you love it. He went from the clean cut, fresh faced boy to the rugged, long haired man he is today. One is younger, one is older. One is cleaner, one is hairier. They convey a completely different kind of look, but the man has a versatile sense of style that can work both ways. So in short, it's all about preference here. You can't argue that he doesn't look good both ways, but you can pick a favorite style of Jared Leto. The younger one is slick, but the older one has an edgier look. The dude clearly has style in both photos, and can rock a lot of different looks which we can't say for everyone. Paris Jackson was not allowed in the spotlight for most of her childhood, and with good reason. Her father was only the most famous man on earth. She was deeply affected by his death, and has since let the world know how hard it was for her. When she first appeared, we all thought she was cute, and not resembling her father at all. But over the years, she has really shown us that she can shine on her own. Her piercing blue eyes seem to have popped since she has changed her look for the better, and she clearly has a great figure. She was young and inexperienced before, but now, she looks incredible. At only 19 years old, we can only imagine what she'll look like in a few years as she continues to mature. Yeah.